1905, Wood carried out a series of experiments to study how the light occurs in gases environments. Wood put a piece of metal sodium in a glass vessel with vacuum inside it. Then he heated the vessel. Sodium vapors filled the vessel, and a special lens focused on such sodium vapors, the light emitted by a burner to the flame of which Wood injected common salt. The light source emitted two yellow sodium beams, T1 and T2, with a wavelength of D1 equals 589.6 nanometers and lambda 2 D equals 589 nanometers. Sodium vapors passing through the beam started emitting a bright yellow light, which propagated not only in the direction of falling light, but in all other directions. Spectroscopic studies show that this fluorescence consisted of the same two yellow sodium lines D1 and D2. It also showed that sodium vapors actively absorbed lines D1 and D2. It goes without saying that the above phenomena were interpreted conventionally at the time of Wood's experiments. Atoms have their own intrinsic frequencies at which they emit spectral lines. When an atom is illuminated by a monochromatic light of a certain frequency, forced oscillations occur and the atom begins over-emitting light at the same frequency. This effect is especially intensive when the frequency of the external radiation corresponds to one of intrinsic atom frequencies, that is, in case of resonance. That's why this phenomenon was called resonant radiation or fluorescence. Of course, oscillating atom can not only over-emit received energy, but for instance transmit it to surrounding atoms without emitting. This portion of energy is finally emitted in the form of heat. Such an effect manifests itself in attenuating of augmenting resonant fluorescence. The intensity of this effect depends on the interaction between atoms of certain gas. In particular, this effect will occur if gas density increases or any atoms of any foreign substance are added. Thus, resonant fluorescence is intensive in mercury vapors at 0.2 multimeters of mercury, but if you add hydrogen at 0.2 millimeters of mercury, there will be a two-fold decrease in fluorescence intensity. If you add some more hydrogen, you will see a further decrease. Any other gases being added will give rise to the same phenomenon. Such experiments were first steps to the creation of lighting sources, such as energy saving and fluorescent lamps.